Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video in our series dealing with correlation and regression and probably it's been a, a little bit of, it's been it's been a while since uh, I've actually did a video in this particular playlist uh, with respect to correlation and regression and it's probably something I promised as well when we derived when we derived the the intercept and the slope uh, for the regression line, okay, when we provided the video, when I, when I, ran, when I did the video for the regression line uh, derivation Okay, for the slope uh, and for the y-intercept. That's when we had a single independent, single dependent variable. Uh, but anyway, I did promise that I would follow that up with the sigma notation form uh, for the slope, uh, the slope of the line. Let's just recall. Okay, so recall. Okay, okay uh, that the slope, that the slope of a regression, a regression line, okay, the regression line, okay, uh, is given by is given uh, by the following, okay? Uh, the slope of a regression line, that's where we have a single independent variable and a single dependent variable. So let's say y is equal to a plus bx, okay? So we're talking about this particular b value here, okay? The slope of the regression line itself. And in the previous video, in part three, at the very end of it, uh, we sh showed that this slope here, that this particular slope, that b was equal to was equal to the average of the cross product of the x y's uh, minus the average of the x's times the average of the y's divided by uh, the average of the x squared values minus the x values uh, average all to be squared. This is what we we sh we, we we have shown, uh, and I did sh I did I did promise that we'd convert this away from averages, which is actually nice and handy. This is a nice handy formula here, okay, uh, to do this calculation. Actually, calculate the slope once you're given the x's and the y uh, observations. This is really really easy to do, and it's actually what I'd recommend that we used, okay. Uh, but some other forms these these formulas can be presented in other forms. So. What I just want to note is this. Let's just note, yeah, okay. Uh, let's note this particular fact uh, that <coughs> that the sum of the x's, okay, over n is actually equal to x bar. So that the average is just the sum of all the observations divided by n, okay. So let's make that particular change here, okay. So we have x y bar minus x bar y bar divided by x squared bar minus x bar all to be squared. This is the slope coefficient from our previous from our previous video. So making the substitution now, okay, where x bar, where the average of the variable is simply the sum of the variable values all over n. So the average of the cross products is simply going to be equal to the sum of the cross products over over n, minus uh, the s average of the x's is the sum of the x's over n, and the average of the y's is the <coughs> excuse me. Is the sum of the y's is the sum of the y's uh, over over n? Okay, so that's our numerator here. Okay, which needs to be divided by the denominator. Okay, the average of the x squareds is the sum of the x squared observations over n minus the average of the x's is the sum of the x observations over n, which needs to be squared. Which needs to be squared. So what we end up with is we end up with well, this here is the sum of there's a common denominator here of n squared. Okay, let me just write it out so it's actually clear. Just the sum of the x y's over n minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's over n squared. Uh, divide because n times n gives us n squared. And over here we have this is the sum of the x squareds uh, over n minus it's the sum of the x's all to be squared over also over n squared. Okay, so you can actually see with respect to this particular numerator here, there's a common denominator, and with respect to this denominator, there's a common denominator, which is actually n squared in both cases. So actually, this gives us uh, the numerator, the denominator is going to be n squared. So this gives us n into n squared goes n times, so it's n times sigma xy, so this is n times sigma xy, minus n squared into n squared goes once, so it's once times sigma x sigma y, so sigma x sigma y, and this needs to be all divided by, okay, so this is our, this is our, our numerator here, okay, so this numerator, okay, this needs to be all divided by this denominator here, and once again we're going to get a common denominator, so this gives us also an n squared, n into n squared goes n times, so that gives us n times n squared, n times the sum of the x squared values, minus here we have n squared into the n squared here goes once and once times the numerator here gives us it's the sum of the x's all to be squared. Okay? And you can probably see when we invert and we multiply our n squared's cancel out. So what we end up with is it's n times the sum of the x y's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's 
divided by n times the sum of the x squared minus the sum of the x is all to be squared. Okay, that this here, okay, that this formula here is equivalent to this formula up here. So actually, this is another way to actually calculate the slope of a line where we use the sigma notations. Okay, so this is another formula. It's another representation of this particular formula here. So now we have two ways to to calculate the to calculate the the slope of a line. Okay, if that makes sense. Uh, <coughs> let's just keep in mind here that I suppose these are these are exactly the same. They're equivalent, just through some some uh, transformations here, uh, where we've transposed the formulas based you off this particular identity here, which was the definition of the average. Okay, guys. Uh, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was in some way helpful, and more importantly, well, I hope it was intuitive, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.